Hello, my friends. This is your Happy Stamper Lady, Rachel Markin, helping the creative you shine through. So I am continuing on with my video series, So Now What? So far, we have a So Now What? introductory, which just kind of informs you of what these little videos are all about. And I'm taking the mystery away from all the different items that you have so you can make cards with confidence. So you can use your products with confidence. So I have already covered all about stamps, all about stamp pads, all about cardstock. I also did a Love It Chop It video even before I started these So Now What videos. And that's going to be in the So Now What um grouping of videos we'll put the thumbnail with that too because the love it chop it definitely deals with the dsp now today i am going to go over the dsp briefly and give you a little bit uh more information but i definitely want you to refer to the love it chop it videos as well so if you're wondering you can find these on youtube if you're watching me on youtube thank you very much for watching me i hope you subscribe to my channel and you hit the little notification bell that lets you know when new videos come out i also encourage you to go to my facebook page i'm going to show you what my facebook page looks like there Okay, so you can look at my Facebook page, Rachel Mark, an independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, a happy Stamper Lady. Um, or I guess you can do hashtag Happer Stampy Lady and you can find it that way too. When you go to my Facebook, I would appreciate it if you would like each individual video. And also, if you share each individual video and write that you shared it, that's an extra name into my Winnie the Pooh cup for the drawing that I do every week. So I have regular Monday videos that come out, different themes each month. We're still in March Puppy Madness theme. Um, and we'll be doing Over the Moon this Monday. And so I'll be doing a drawing from all this past week. So if you shared my Adidasha Glitter video, and if you share all of these that you see on the So Now What videos, your name will be entered individually for each video that you share. Because I appreciate you sharing my videos, helping my business, and I hope that they help you. So I would love to get some comments like, I didn't know that, or this is very helpful for me, because that's the whole purpose for me doing them. So we're gonna talk about um, DSP or design series paper. We're gonna go to the split screen so you can see this beautiful paper. <clears throat> now, why am I showing you this paper? because it's available in celebration so i talked about celebration a couple different times i've said something to you about celebration but we are coming to the end of celebration march 31st is the last day so what does that mean for you that means that for every 50 dollars that you order you can get something free in this catalog or there's another celebration catalog they actually had two uh, phases of celebration so if you go to my website and I'll show you what that page looks like okay if you go to my website you can access all of the catalogs that are currently out which means that you can access Nah, just kidding. You want the split screen so you can see my stuff. You can access the celebration catalogs, the two celebration catalogs. You can access the new January to June mini catalog, which is where all the March Poppy Madness came from that we're currently working on. And you can also access the main annual catalog okay now while that is exciting that can also be a bit overwhelming for some people so this is where i love to help you to kind of decide what would be a good thing to order right now to get you started or if you already have some stuff how do we add on to the supplies that you have so you can keep making cards and everything you have is usable because that's what i want to help you do so i love it if you private message me through Facebook, um, I would love that. And you can get a hold of me and ask me questions and I will walk that process through with you. So for every 50 that you spend means this is free. You get this for $50 that you spend. Now that's before shipping in tax. So this paper, you get 
12, you still get 12 sheets, but you get three of each sheet. And so it is not double sided. Now that is rare for design series paper, but all of this paper, if you can see that gorgeous shimmer, this has rose gold and silver foil shimmer in this paper. Isn't that stunning? So you get three sheets of that. Look at this one. Oh, that's so pretty. You get three sheets of that one. Also rose gold and silver foil shimmer. Look at that one with just the silver. That's quite beautiful. So pretty. And I love this one. Look at this one. Like the plaid. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. <clears throat> now, I'm only showing you one of each of those because I already did it. Love it. Chop it. I already have my love it chop it box that we talked about okay and i will go over the love it chop it one time i will do one sheet of paper for you to show you what i mean by that again and how i store that in my box but i want to go over a couple more uh free options for you so this is another 50 dollars set that's free this well dressed this is like the dapper gentleman i absolutely love this set with the spats and the fedora this umbrella totally gene kelly singing in the rain so happy i love this set so you spend 50 you get this for free <clears throat> you spend 100 and you can choose this or you can choo choose 250 so you could get the well dressed and you could get the paper do you see how that works or specifically 100 and then this is a free set for you now the beauty of this set is that it matches one in the catalog and i actually showed it in my very first video that i did for you guys it is layered with kindness and then these two punches so you do this stamp set which the punches match so you have the label me fancy punch matches this thanks for your kindness and it matches the just for you or you could do the sending hugs okay then this other label me lovely punch which has become like a favorite punch of mine goes for the happy birthday the for my friend can fit in that punch and then look all of these fit in that punch as well so wishing you the best happiness looks gorgeous on you and i miss your face Oh, I love the I miss your face. So this is a wonderful set that is going to actually complement a set you already have. So I can help you kind of put together an order so you could get that set for yourself. And then you have so many options for card making. So that is wonderful. I wanted to kind of share celebration because we're coming to the end of it. And I don't want you to miss out if there's some things that you love. I want you to be able to get those things. So one more little happiness here are these little ladybugs. We're actually going to use them today. They're so adorable. However, they are a hostess only right now for celebration. So when celebration ends on March 31st, they're going to fly away, as is all the other great freebies. And I don't want you to miss these cute little gals. They're so fun. So... You say, Rachel, I can't do $300. That's crazy. I can't do $300 either. Now, if I had no budget, it would be no problem for me to spend over $300 all the time with Stampin' Up. But I understand budgeting. So if you have five friends and yourself and they all want one $50 freebie, there you go. And you get the little ladybugs. Okay. There's so many choices and they're wonderful to be able to have. If you and two other friends want some of the hundred dollar ones put together in order and you still get the little ladybugs for free. So there are definitely ways that I can help you reach that goal. You just need to reach out to me and let me know and I will gladly help you put an order together. That would be no problem. And it would be a joy for me to do for you. So with this, um, Caught with this DSP, the Love It Chop It is Kylie Bertucci. I think I've talked to you about that before. She is a lovely demonstrator in Australia, and she came up with the concept of Love It Chop It, which simply means that you chop your design series paper because when it's like this, 12 by 12, sometimes that's a little overwhelming and you don't really know what to do with it. So when you chop it and you get it prepared, it's so easy to make cards with. It just makes it so simple. So all you do for your 12 by 12 paper as you decide which way you want it to fit, 
lace but a lot of this paper it doesn't matter because the patterns everywhere so you would chop it at four inches and four inches again we'll move that to the side okay four inches again and then this is also four inches so that makes sense because it's 12 by 12 so 12 divided by 3 is 4 inches 4 inches 4 inches and 4 inches so you have three strips of 4 inches okay and it looks like that okay three of them then I put them together because our um, paper trimmer is able to handle that and I turn it sideways so now I'm facing it long way like this toward myself and I'm going to cut it out five and a fourth and five and a fourth. It's just that simple. Five and a fourth. And then I'm going to cut it again at five and a fourth. Done. And now it is ready to go to make a card. So <clears throat> I talked to you about these cases. They come four in a package and they're seven dollars and this is where i store my paper so my big sheets store very nicely together at the bottom like this okay and then the little strips i do not waste my little strips i actually use them all the time and they go up here and now look you have your paper ready to make a card okay so what does that mean what do you mean when you say you can make a card? So the reason I have done the videos in the order that I have where I told you how to put stamps together, then I talked to you about stamp pads, and then I talked to you about cardstock and how you cut cardstock, I had, I had, there's a method to my madness. I had a purpose for doing that because if I want to put together a card, I'm going to show you what that looks like, okay? So... We're going to take the Sahara sand and we cut our cardstock. Remember, long way, four and a fourth, or the other way, five and a half. And I have a whole video on that. Go back and watch that and you will have no questions about it. And then you're going to fold your cardstock in half and already you're ready to make a card. Okay, so already this is your card base and that's what I covered in that video. Like this is all ready to go as a card base that you can put something on. So you could just stamp on it and I showed you that in another video where I literally just took the card base and I just stamped on it and made a beautiful card, okay? But when you have Love It Chop It paper ready to go you can use that paper in a way that allows you to like just put it on the front of the card isn't that stunning that is quite beautiful i love that but <clears throat> on this one because i'm going to want to put some words on there i'm going to want to put a design this is foil paper so it's got like um like it's a little bit raised so i don't think like the stamps would stamp very well on that paper well that's okay that's where your paper's ready to go and you could decide you know what? i think i'm just gonna like cut a little bit off of that to make this card so i would just hmm, so that's five and a four so i would probably um cut it if you cut it in half at two and three fours you have a piece of paper like this and then that paper will get used but look so you're already starting to make a card so i've got this beautiful flower design and i love that i think i'm going to go ahead and use that and then i'm going to decide what uh what i want to stamp i think that wishing you the best would be quite beautiful on there just like right on the cardstock so our colors are pretty neutral here so i would choose a color that had a little bit more pop to it than just the neutral colors so i'm going to get my stamparatus out because i'm always getting my stamparatus out because what do i tell you the stamparatus is your friend make it your friend love the stamparatus use the stamparatus and make it your friend so <clears throat> We have now used the cardstock. So we've used our cardstock idea. We've cut some cardstock. We got it ready to go. 
We've cut our DSP. We've got it ready to go. I am going to put that down there, but I want to stamp first to make sure of the size of everything. We talked about the different kind of stamps. So right now you're seeing photopolymer stamps and we already discussed like what that means. What does it mean to say photopolymer? Or what does it mean for the cling stamps? So if you watch the all about stamps video, you will see all of those discussions that are in there. So see how bendy photopolymer is, is like super bendy. So when you're laying down your stamp, so I have my magnets on so it doesn't move. And if you watched me in my um, cardstock video, you saw what happens if you don't get it stamped just right, how the stamparatus just fixed that right up for us. Like we had no problem fixing that right up. Okay, so I laid that down so um, that I lay that down the wrong way. So I lay that down so that the um, flat side where you, you won't feel anything, the other side you'll feel like the image. So you're, the image is what you want to stamp, obviously. So you're going to lay, lay that down and then the flat side is facing you so that you let the plate do the work for you. You hear me say that all the time too because it does. The plate does the work for you. And so I'm going to choose Blackberry Bliss. Are you surprised? No, you're not. Because I'm always choosing Blackberry Bliss. I love it. I love Blackberry Bliss with everything. So if you ask me a question and you say, Rachel, can you help me put a kit together? Guess what color I'm going to tell you you should buy? <laughs> Blackberry Bliss. I'm going to tell you that every time. Because I love it. I love that color. Okay, so I am now stamping this beautiful design. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. But right there at the top, I just feel like it's not quite, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not, it's like a little smudgy. So I'm going to do it again. And that's, again, the beauty of the Stamparatus. Like I can go back and be like, mm, just quite, didn't quite get those flowers the way that I wanted them to. I wanted a little bit more design in those flowers. Beautiful. So I'm just gonna press right there in that in that area. Perfect. Okay, so already there's my stamp. Now let's test our paper. Oh, that's actually perfect. Look at the size of that. Isn't that beautiful? So now we're gonna go ahead and lay our paper down. And I'm using glue, and I've talked to you about this before. There's either glue or there is snail adhesive uh, tape runner that you can use. I use glue because I feel like it sticks really well, and um, it gives you a little bit of moving room, like when you first go to lay it down so that you get it right where you want it to be. And I feel like here in Ohio, with up and down weather, I feel like the glue sticks better than the tape runner does. So, okay, so that's a start of a card. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. So that's what I mean. I'm going to finish, like, let's put in, where's that I miss your face? I like that I miss your face. Um, that's what I mean by taking the first steps to make a card. Okay, so... Um, you don't need all the supplies. You just need a few supplies to get you started so you can make lots and lots of cards and enjoy what you're making and feel good about what you're making. And that's what I'm trying to help you do. I'm going to show you all kinds of things that you can use, but I'm also going to show you how you don't have to have it all at one time. Okay? So now... This is on uh, is on here, and so say I wanted to make a whole bunch of those. Remember, I talked about um, making assembly line style. So if I decided I wanted to do that, then I don't want to clean that off because I already have, I already know where my card lays down here on this paper, and I already have this set up. This is the beauty of the other plate for the Stamparatus. So if I bring another plate over here. I can go down and I can pick up that I miss your face, okay, and I can use it there. And then when I'm doing assembly line like that, when I'm like going 
over and over with them, that's um, perfect. Like that's the perfect way to be able to do that. I was looking for my brown. I wanna use the early espresso. I think that would be really pretty for the words on the I miss your face. Okay, so we're gonna do the I miss your face in the little spot. Oh, I love it. Okay, I still, a little bit of that Y, I'm gonna do that just one more time. And again, that's the beauty of the Stamparatus is that you can do that. Something else that you notice when I'm using the Stamparatus, and I know other people worry about that, like look at how, like, like it's filthy. Like it's dirty around and it's dirty in the stamp, but it doesn't um, go onto your card. Another beauty of it doesn't rock and it doesn't like do weird things on your card and I love that too. So there is a beautiful card. You'd be super happy to give that card away and then finish it on the inside. So that's the beauty of the Love It Chop It DSP. That's the beauty of learning how to cut your card stock. That's the beauty of understanding how to use your stamp pads and how to put your stamps together and how they work. And so, so far that's what we've uh, talked about in the So What For Now. So the next thing that I'm going to talk about in the So What For Now is I'm going to go a little more in depth on the Stamparatus. So stay tuned for another video. Please share them with everybody else. Like and share them and comment that you shared. And until we craft again, my friends, go and make the world a better place. And I bid you all adieu.